I tell myself I'm fearless. I have nothing to be afraid of. I can do this. I fractured my neck when I was 10. I was terrified that I was gonna have to find a new dream, which no one ever wants to do. She had the concentration, she had the hard work, she had the dedication, and she had the right tools for the sport. It wasn't that uncommon that I'd take her to some little competition and she'd win five gold medals. My dream was to compete at Worlds and be on the national team for gymnastics. We were excited about her future. She had it all. Annie had a mishap on floor one day, took off wrong, and landed on top of her head. It turned out to be an injury that just needed time to heal. It wasn't in any way a career-ending or serious injury. As her neck was healing, um, she noticed that her back was hurting. Basically, her vertebrae weren't fused together. The little inner part where all the important nerves are was completely exposed. And to find out it was a congenital issue she was born with, it was just such a surprise because she'd been so active. I didn't even think in terms of gymnastics. I just thought in terms of her being happy, being able to grow up and be healthy and be able to walk. When they told me I would have to take a year off, I was devastated. Most kids who take a year or more off do not make a comeback in a sport like this. Gymnastics was over for her. I was crushed. I like trying to feel like I'm independent, but like people have to do everything for me. I couldn't even walk on my own. I just remember when she was walking across the room three feet, she was so frustrated, she couldn't stand up. And by the time she was walking to the end of the hallway, that was almost when the light switch turned on and she could see she was making progress. About 13 months after her surgery, the doctor gave her the okay that she could start doing physical activity beyond walking. Annie told her mom, you need to call Kathy today and tell her that I'm coming back. We started from the beginning. When I would reach down to touch my toes, I would get to about my knees, my arms especially. I lost all my upper body strength. It was really hard. I felt so weak. We started with Annie coming in three days a week to do very light conditioning and flexibility. Annie pushes herself. And she loves a good challenge. She doesn't get down. She just keeps working and working and working. She had to conquer that little voice in your head that tells you you're not going to be able to do this. And she did that. Suddenly, I was trying new skills, and I was getting them back. I thought that it was very possible that she could compete the next year. She was ready to go by the first meet and competed not one event, but competed all four events. I felt like I made a comeback to the gymnastics world. The best comeback story I've seen in 25 years. The way she's going, she's gonna reach her ultimate goal, which was to get a full ride scholarship. These things just happen in that when they do, you have to be ready. You have to put all your effort into it. What makes me different is that I am fearless.